with your brothers and sisters, those who are here and uh, our viewers of our live streaming. This coming um, uh, weekend and these days, um, we are going to uh, uh, celebrate or commemorate the uh, uh, Feast of uh, Souls and, the, uh, and those uh, uh, saints of our church. So ito po yung uh, ating uh, undas at um, for this would be um, really appropriate to reflect on uh, the lives of saints and uh, our poor souls in purgatory, especially our loved ones, uh, relatives, and others. Alam niyo mayroong isang uh, mama na nagsabi na uh, may uh, dalawang bagay dito sa mundo na hindi natin maiiwasan. Ang una, sabi niya, ay yung pagbabayad ng buwis, uh, payment of taxes. And ikalawa, yung kamatayan. Pero may nagsabi naman, um, Father, well, yung unang uh, uh, hindi maiiwasan, sinabi, ay um, hindi naman totoo ito. Dahil uh, may mga hindi nagbabayad ng buwis. Sila ay uh, uh, yung mga tinatawag na tax, tax evaders. Well, there is some truth to that, my dear brothers and sisters. But, uh, death hindi ho natin maiiwasan yan. And uh, uh, this is therefore something that we should be reminded about. That uh, those loved ones in the cemeteries and Columbaria, well, uh, we will follow after them also in the next life. Alam niyo uh, may nagsabi na ang Panginoon ay binigay na sa atin yung pag-alaala ng ating kamatayan. At uh, may uh, sinabi na dito daw sa ating palad ay makikita na yung letra dito. Uh, kung titignan nyo yung mga palad ninyo, di ba may mga letra uh, dito sa mga palad natin? Kung wala pong mga letra yan, ay taga-ibang planeta kayo. But anyway, dito po sa ating uh, mga palad ay makikita ang ating uh, letra. And for example, here in my palms ay uh, may uh, dalawang M, right and left. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Yung dalawang M, ang ibig sabihin ay Memento Mori uh, in uh, Latin. Memento Mori uh, sa Tagalog naman ay mamamatay ka rin. So, ito ang uh, ibig sabihin ng Memento Mori. One day, you will die. Remember that you will die. So, today especially, we are Uh, reminded about death also, especially uh, under this, uh, uh, during this time of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic or uh, so many uh, infected, so many uh, uh, dying of this uh, dreadful and very uh, uh, fatal Um, coronavirus. So, dear brothers and sisters, let us always be prepared because uh, 
we do not know when this uh, pandemic or this virus will strike. And this is what our Lord is also saying, that uh, we should always be prepared. We should be prepared like that master, that master who comes in coming at the time that we do not know. So, this is uh, what our Lord uh, tells us and reminds us. At papaano po itong paghahanda, mga kapatid? Well, itong paghahanda ay hindi katulad ng isang lalaki. Uh, medyo uh, may katandaan na. At sabi niya, um, I am going to, I have prepared already my uh, uh, memorial plan. Uh, coffin, kung saan ako uh, i- uh, kung kailan ililibing, at saka yung uh, sabi niya, yung last will and testament. So, he was feeling already that the end was near. And so, he called uh, his uh, children, mga apo, and he already told them what uh, uh, would happen. So, he was relieved that uh, uh, he was able to settle already uh, the uh, things that he was uh, preparing. And, well, eventually, after a few days, he died. Now, this is very good, and this is fine, but what is important is that we should not be preparing only for this material preparation, for our uh, memorial plan, and so on and so forth. That is also important. But what is important is, you know, we have a soul. It's not only a body. And a spiritual soul will live forever, even in the next life. And this we should remember always, dear brothers and sisters, while we are still alive and in this world. So how do we do this? Well, we do this by being at peace with God. What does it mean? That we do not do, uh, do uh, bad or what is wrong and against the will of God, against His commands, and that we should always repent of all the sins we have committed. And not only uh, repent, but also make reparations at huwag po natin gagawin uli yung ating mga kasalanan na nagawa. Then another very important thing, and this is, sana ang buhay natin ay hindi yung makasarili. Ito ang palaging sinasabi ng ating Panginoon by saying that we should do good deeds to people, especially the less fortunate. And this is very true and very clear in the parable of our Lord in the last judgment. You see, it is in the last judgment, and he emphasized this. He will judge us according to the good works that we have done. He will ask, what did you do? What good works did you do? When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. I was in prison and sick. You visited me. Enter into the kingdom of heaven. So itong mga kabutihang gagawin natin, mga kawang gawa, ito po ang passport natin sa pagpasok sa kariyan ng langit. Kaya, sana pagnilayan natin ito, itong uh, panahon ng undas at uh, sa ating pagdadalaw sa ating mga yumao na nauna na sa atin. So, dear brothers and sisters, let us remember the words of that writer. At uh, maganda ang kanyang sinabi. He said, I shall pass this world but once. Any good that I can do or any kindness that I can show 
Let me do it now. Let me not neglect nor defer it or postpone it, for I shall not pass this way again. Brothers and sisters, let us pray to Saint Jude that as we pray for our loved ones who have passed away, that we also prepare ourselves spiritually for the coming of God into our lives. Amen. Aware of our mission in the world, be prophets of God's merciful